All right, so these are some matches that I played against Gutter Magic, who's a really strong player. He got second at Evo in Killer Instinct uh, this past year. Very strong. Um, I guess Grappler fan, considering he uses, I guess, Grapplers in both those games. Uh, that's just to say this game, too. So um, I played Bison against him at first. I had just picked Bison. I don't know if you saw the other set where I played Bison against Snake Eyes, and it like, totally didn't work out. Um, so I stopped using the character for like a while, and then all of a sudden I got matched up with Gutter Magic the first time I went back to it. So, um, <laughs> I don't know, I really gotta figure out what to do. Certainly not slide. Definitely not slide. I think I was just trying to see if I could punish the sweep, but definitely not. So um, once, once you know, you get up close against Geef, I feel like that's pretty bad news. So uh, definitely not what I want to let happen. But you know, my anti-air game is definitely not there, and I tried to wake up Roundhouse just to see if I could crush count or something, because I was kind of out of it, so. Uh, I think mentally I was just kind of playing for the next round at that point. So this time, I really think I'm trying to look more for, you know, mid-range game, anti-airs, occasional dash-ups to mix-ups. I don't understand that at all. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not, this is not looking good. <laughs> I really gotta work on this character. Uh, okay, at least I got a whip punish. And I feel like this is about where Bison wants to stand. Like, it's it's in range for, yeah, pretty good jump stuff. You get anti-air as well there. You can press buttons mid-range there. You can dash into mix-ups if you need to. But I just didn't get the anti-airs. You know, poor wake-up choices. and Yeah, no anti-air there. So that sucked. Well played to him. But uh, the rest of this is, is maybe a little bit unfair <laughs> to show. So I had, at this point, played against Snake Eyes and Fight Money's Geefs with Sim. And I sort of thought about it. What should my anti-airs be? When should I press buttons? Where should I press buttons? All of those things. Um, and I, I came away from it definitely feeling stronger in Dawson versus Zangief, um, which I think you're, you're going to see. So main lesson that I learned was where to stand and what to anti-air with. You see, I'm not just anti-airing with, with Down Strong anymore. I'm anti-airing with... Stand medium punch, stand roundhouse. They they attack different spots. Um, I'm not whiffing anything. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like that anti air there might have traded with down strong, but not with stand strong. So there's some different stuff. Yeah, I don't I don't think I whiffed a button. I think I had all the anti airs. And, and you know, some of that is just guessing right on the wheel of options, anti airs. So. But uh, you know, I, I did do a little bit more research into like which buttons to press where. Yeah, and so I, I feel like it sort of has again reverted to a tougher matchup uh, for Geef. As you can see, I mean, I, I, so I do think that he could be playing a little bit more patiently. Uh, yeah, it's just chip. Oh wow, what was that? That's terrible. So that that was an opportunity at least for him. When I was in the air right there, that could have been air SPD. And, you know, once you get grabbed as Dalsum in this matchup, especially near the corner, I feel like that's KO. So that could have been the, the turning point. But other than that, I really liked how I ended up studying the matchup and starting to understand it a little bit better. Oh, he and I played a couple of times back-to-back. -back. Actually, you know what? I don't know if it was back-to-back, -to, -back, to be honest. I don't remember, but it's pretty soon after. So in that whole set... That whole game previously, I didn't do any teleports. And so I thought, well, might as well, right? Like, might as well try this out. If, if he does Lariat, I think he beats it, but he has to do it preemptively. And if I don't throw the fire and then teleport through the Lariat, then I get a free punish on his Lariat. So it's kind of a, not, the, not that great a choice. Yeah, again, pretty bad look. So it's interesting to think about like what he could be doing differently, because this that's definitely the side that uh, I guess needs some some work at this point. Um, you can see he's starting to figure out some dashes. I like that stand around us idea, and I just happened to teleport at that time. But I like that idea to try to counter hit stuff, counter hit stand strong. I, I really feel like that is a good idea, and something that I think we saw Snake Eyes do or Boost Fight Money. I forget which. That was a good block. Yeah, that was, that was good. I definitely wanted to press buttons there. I think you can really see the KI and how he plays. And the same with Paul B. 
because um, they, they do this neutral jump right before people get up, like expecting to blow up uh, grab techs, but it doesn't really work the same way in this game. You see, I got close. I mean, he, or I should say, he got close. And when he did, he took off three quarters of my life. And, uh, you know, it really went downhill quickly. So it's all about keeping out in, and that's the case with all Dawson matchups, but I feel like this is a particularly uh, strong one. And you know what? It is in every game. But uh, anyway, uh, feeling pretty strong in that matchup right now. GG's.